Hey everybody, what is up? Anyways, let me move this out of the way. Today's video is kind of a sad one for all of us. And what better way to film this video but the sunset out the window. Look at that. Yeah, very appropriate because we're the sun is setting on one era and another era is about to start. So um, let me tell you guys the breakdown of what ha of what is happening. As some of you guys already know, um, Aquatica announced that they are never going to reopen again. And as much as I was excited to kind of be part of the twenty the final season for twenty twenty. E super bummed about this and I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna agree with me on this one because I was pretty much excited for the final season and I'm super bummed to hear that they ha that they just permanently closed without even a day of operation for the final season so with that in mind I did manage to um, film some archive footage two years before it formally closed, and that like not knowing that the top, the day I filmed all that footage was gonna be the very last time I would ever set foot on the park. And with that said, this is gonna. And I thought I'd make this as more of a farewell special because, well, let me tell you guys something. On the day that this video does come out would have been the original end date of operations or the day after that. And as many of you guys know, um, last year they announced the fate after the closure. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get into a little bit of detail about this and what it was like, but um, I want to remind you guys that um, the first part of this video is just going to be text giving a brief history. I'm not going to go into like a big fat detailed history, so, but I'm excited to um, say a few things about its future. So. Um, with that said, I'm guessing we'll go ahead and get started. Here we go. Let's start by touring this area. So on the right, those are some like semi-private lounge chases that are like more of an upgrade to the visit of the park. And it's the same area as the cabanas. That was the first frame in the park, but then it skipped ahead. So that was what that was. Coming up next is going to be the entryway into Tassie's Twister. 
Now, Tassie's Twister is like one of the better rides that I've been on in this park. But I gotta tell you, um, I got a couple wedgies on that one. This is the start of the Tomata Racer. The Tomata Racer is pretty much one of the highlights. Um, it's named after a summit in New Zealand and it has, and let me tell you, the official name of the summit has 85 letters. And let me tell you, it's actually hard to pronounce. <laughs> And that summit is located in New Zealand, um, and all the rides um, pretty much have Maori language names. There are a couple of exceptions, but... Um, and coming up next is going to be the inner area of Walkabout Waters. And coming up next is a shade structure right there. And let me tell you something, actually, um, the high school I went to um, had a very similar structure installed in their um, outdoor um, area so and like the very first time that it, it got installed all my friends were like oh I think I remember seeing this somewhere so it kind of clicked in um, now the next one is gonna be the wall hollow wave it was known for its pattern of going from yellow teal and then purple as you can see and now, um, Woohoo Falls and Kiwi Curl, um, are pretty much the same. And I'll show you one of these enclosed slides as I go through. Now, um, Kiwi has three different meanings. Um, um, it could be a fruit, a bird native to New Zealand, or as a matter of fact, um, a slang term for anyone that hails from New Zealand as if New Zealander was very, very formal. And you might want to remember that perch. It's kind of important. And you'll see why in just a bit. And you'll find that out towards the very end of this video. And with that said, we will continue on to Tassie's Twister. Now take a look at that. That is a Pro Slide Tornado 60 because it had pretty much a six story diameter. Coming up next here, this is a view of the park. The first one I'm going to zoom in is Slippity Dippity. That is the infant play area. And it kind of looks like a volcano with uh, lava tubes going down the side of it. As if the floor's lava challenge was hard enough to master. Next up is Walkabout Waters, which is a nice play structure. There's a bucket in there, and every five minutes it dumps onto guests below there. And I went on that the very first year it opened, and let me tell you, it was not too good. Like, I literally got soaked. That is Huru Run, the tallest in the park. Um, I didn't get to go on that one. Um, Wanu Way was closed that day, but that is the start of Wahala Wave, which we went on earlier. And this is a freshwater turtle exhibit just before Big Surf Shores. Ah, told you this would be important. You see, one and a half years later, I ventured up to a perch just behind it, and I managed to snap all these pictures. So, there's a little bit of history about to go in here, so... Hope everybody enjoys this.
was a not a very sad story. Well, there is some hope right here. Um, plans are for the park to eventually be transformed. It will no longer be a water park. It's just going to be a regular amusement park with extended operating seasons. And they've announced they've entered into a partnership with the Sesame Workshop of Manhattan, New York-ish, whatever. Um, we can already guess um, what the new name of the park is based on an announcement that they made in uh, October of 2019. All right, now for a little bit of trivia. Um, during its time as Aquatica, it in fact has gained a little bit of popularity. It was featured in Extreme Water Parks in 2016. In addition, it's been featured in various water park challenge videos on other channels. It wasn't until 2018 when Phase Rug uploaded a video. And yes, I'm bringing up Phase Rug once again for the first time since I don't know how many months. Where the thumbnail claimed it to be world's biggest water park, which I think is kind of clickbaitish. So I'm going to ask Google what the actual largest water park in the world is. Google, what is the world's largest water park? Okay, everybody, brace yourselves. The world's largest water park is, ready for this, the Caribbean Bay Water Park at around 20,000 hectares. And Aquatica does not even come close. So, there it is. The largest in the Americas is located in Wisconsin Dells, but I don't want to go into naming it because we're actually running out of time. We're getting to the 15 minute mark. Um, but the term of the week, because I've been talking about um, amusement attractions and whatnot, it's going to be adrenaline rush. And it is a physical feeling of intense excitement and stimulation, which is t primarily caused by the re release of adrenaline. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. This I know this was a very sad one, but do give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.